Hey, what's up, family? It's Mediterranean Goddess 1111, and I'm on here to do a general collective reading for you guys. I miss you guys so much. Man, what up, YouTube? Hey, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram as well. You can follow me on Instagram at either S-J-C-H-I-P, or you can follow me at Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, dot the goddess. And you can just see some extra content on there, right? So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, what up, so family? You guys, I'm sitting here listening to my boys' um, music. If you haven't subscribed to my friend um, King Chains yet, K-I-N-G, C H A N E S. Go subscribe to him so you can listen to some of his music and some of his content. It's really, 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 really good. I'm listening to his music right now. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> go check him out also you guys can check out my other my um youtube that i'm affiliated with it was 144 on the clock when i was saying this bro it's called love planet 528 so search that up on youtube as well and subscribe to that because not only is Mediterranean Goddess 1111 growing in a healthy, beautiful channel, which I am thankful to you guys, right? And thankful to Source for calling me and choosing me with a purpose. So also, you know, I'm praying and believing and I, I just know, like, not only my, my channel is a beautiful channel growing, but also Love Planet 528 as well, right? And like I said, hit up my boy King Chains, C-H-A-N-E-S, and subscribe to his channel. His music is fire. So let me go ahead and get into this collective reading for you guys. Make sure you go get your water or whatever you drink, you know, your coffee or whatever, your wine. You guys, I be drinking the shit out of water because I live in Oklahoma, United States, and it's very, very hot here. It's like 100 degrees all the time. <clears throat> in the winter time, it gets a little bit cold. But I'm originally from Rhode Island, United States. And in Rhode Island, it's cold. Even in the summertime, I mean, sometimes it gets hot, but the ocean's right there. So you always have an ocean breeze. So I don't know. Spirit's saying um, if you feel like you've never got to travel in your life, to try to astral travel. Try to actually, like, before you go to bed, get into a deep meditative state and imagine the places that you want to go and allow your soul to take off there. <clears throat> so some of you guys may have the gift of astral traveling to be able to go see places like Egypt and Greece and actually wherever your ancestors are from, right? So I just want to bless you guys, first of all, Welcome, because this is a positive, beautiful, growing channel that is blessed by Source. And I'm chosen, 144, and I'm here as a prophet and as um, a messenger, an oracle, to work for God, to work for Source, Creator. And I don't work for man's approval or any likes or clout, but I do appreciate it if you do like it so that the message can get through to the algorithms and be able to spread to who needs to hear this. So I'm going to go ahead and clear 
the energy really quick for everybody. You can fast forward through this if you want, but it's I'm not going to take long. I'm going to hit this three times and clear the energy for everybody. So Spirit is asking that you guys clear your space, clear your house, clear your temples, clear your bodies, right? We're actually being called right now, I feel, to detox. I don't know if a lot of people are detoxing or if you've thought of the idea. I'm hearing like water fast. So, Source Creator, I come to you in Jesus' name and I ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak a clear and precise message for the collective. What do we need to hear right now to best help us grow and best help our spirits ascend? I call on also Ascended Masters and my galactic family, as well as my ancestors of the highest white light. Thank you for beautiful, beautiful people and beautiful energy for my beautiful soul tribe here. Bless, blessings. All right, so let's get in this message. I don't know what spirit is going to say today, but I do have, um, I have, like, these are some downloads that I wrote down that I've gotten <clears throat> over the last few months. And so I should have already be doing videos for these, but I guess, like, the way that I, that God gave me the vision to be able to, like, get these out is to, use these as like a deck of cards so we're gonna see what downloads come through i need to hydrate right now you guys i feel like somebody's like really thirsty i don't know if it's just me or what all right so let's hear what does spirit have to say to us? <clears throat> if you guys want a personal reading, you guys can hit me up on my email. My email is listed in my uh, the description below or on my about bio. It's sjchip at gmail.com. You guys can hit me up for a personal reading, okay? Because this is a general reading. But Heavenly Father, yes. Mother, what needs to come through, Holy Spirit, for the collective? Wow, beautiful, beautiful message. I'm so happy to give this message right now. So this message came through on July 13th of this year. I saw rainbows in my third eye. So rainbows, this is an oath. This is an oath by creator to us. An oath is stronger than a contract. A contract, yes, is very strong. But an oath, an oath, a direct promise. So this says promise of restoration after the flood. So there is a promise huh, of restoration after the flood. So a lot of us have gone through the flood is what that tells me. A lot of us have gone through heavy torrential rain, I just heard. So we've gone through 
heavy torrential rain in our lives. We've gone through some fucked up situation, I just heard. Some things that should have took us under. Things that should have drowned us, right? We should have drowned in this flood. Hmm. But there's a promise of restoration here. So let's get into this promise of restoration. Let's see what this promise of restoration is. We know there was a period of flood. So some energy might come up showing what the flood was about, right? But Spirit is saying we're, we're not to focus on the flood. We're not to focus on what has occurred and the things. Yes, we can use the strength. We can transmute, right? We could take that water, take that flood and make something of it. Spirit wants you guys to work with, I'm um, hearing smoky quartz. This is clear quartz, but I heard smoky quartz. Or maybe you guys already work with smoky quartz. So everybody's flood is different. You know what I mean? Everybody's period of, I'm hearing period of collapse in your life. Whew. I'm trying not to tap into that flood energy is what's happening, guys, because I'm an empath, right? So I already see this promise, this rainbows of restoration, but spirit is telling me for us not to focus that a lot of us are focused on the flood and we're not to focus on the flood. We're to actually be thankful. Yes. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit says that we are to be thankful that we survived the flood. And as we're thankful and as we have gratitude and we show appreciation for the things that we've endured and actually transmute the pain and have purpose in our life, then comes the rainbows that I saw in my third eye. This promise of restoration from Prime Creator. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a restoration. So Spirit's asking us, are you ready for a restoration? That's so beautiful right now. Wow. So, okay. Spirit, what cards should I get? I'm so excited. All right. So, I don't know. I'm drawn to these Moonology cards. So I'm going to take those. But I really feel like I also need to take some of these. So this is Keeper of Light. And this one too. All right, so let's get into this. All right, spirit. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Speak. Ooh. Yes. So this deck is the, the Archangel deck. All right. So spirit, what do you want to tell us about this restoration that you're promised to us? You guys, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Or share this video so it can go out. All right, what is this promise of restoration? Wow. So Spirit's saying part of your restoration is third eye opening. Part of your restoration is your um, psychic abilities. Okay? So it's like before we endured the dark night of the soul or this flooding pain, right? Before we before we endured that part in our lives, we actually um, didn't really have much of an intuition. Or if we did have an intuition like I did, I still had an intuition, but I wasn't obedient and didn't very, very, I didn't listen to it very much, right? But this person right here is paying attention to what's happening here. Right. But here's the thing. It says hone your psychic abilities. See through illusion. So it's like before the flood, we didn't see much truth in things. We, we didn't believe we believed the illusion of things. 
And it's like after we've endured these these traumas, <laughs> let's call it what it is, after we've endured these traumas, as we're being restored, our third eye is opening. Our third eye is awakening. We're, we're honing into our psychic abilities and we're able to see through the illusion and be able to see truth. Hey, that's beautiful for restoration. We can see truth. Yes. This says be interde interdependent and expand your horizons. So look at this. I kind of want to read this card a little bit, but this person, this angel is. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm seeing Star of David right here and also holding the world in the palm of your hands. I'm hearing beckoning the planetary system. So it's like you literally, you might be an astrologist or like it's like you almost have a control to bend the solar system. I'm hearing create your own solar system. It's expanding your horizons. Hmm. Can I, I'm going to read this card real quick. It says, um, this is the universal angel that works with the cosmic blueprint. With Archangel Metatron, he oversees the stars and the planet, ensuring that they are in their rightful place. He uses his wisdom to keep the equi equilibrium to regulate the huge cosmic currents that flow around them and to keep the cohesion of the stellar world. Wow. He also works with the archangels of the nature kingdoms and the inner earth and links intergalactic aspirants to the Seraphina, the mighty Seraphim working with humanity. He radiates a shimmering white light and has natural affinity with unicorns to help him with pure energy. His etheric retreat is above the earth in the central point where the four ascension constellations, stars, planets, Neptune, the Pleiades, Orion, and Sirius meet, and he steps his frequency down to enter the planet through the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Wow, there's so much happening in this card. Bro, so it's it's literally, you, you're, you might be an earth sign, I'm hearing, but also you have a connection with Gaia. Like I said, you are basically a universal angel embodied here so you're in charge of the planetary system like i channeled okay you might be from pleiades neptune or and sirius and it's also it's like working intergalactically you know understanding that there's a balance and an equilibrium to the flows of, of not only the flows of life, but the flows of the whole galactic system. So, wow, I just heard Spirit say, in your restoration, in, in the promise that is for us to be restored, we are actually becoming the restorers. So it's like, as we are restored, we're restoring the whole currents and flows of the galactic cosmo system. Bro, that's so tight. So our part of our promise is our call. Part of our promise is our missions and our calls. Man, that's dope. So like I said, you might be connected with Earth. You might you might be connected with Gaia. And you may resonate with heart chakra. I'm hearing you can go into um, nature and take take some stones with you. Okay. Sorry, I just had a phone call. You know. So, anyways, um, take some stones into nature with you is what I'm hearing. So rose quartz is for heart, heart chakra. 
And, and here's the thing. It says, let nature soothe you. Serve the nature kingdom. So I already got that in this planetary. Um, I'm hearing this planetary promise that you hold. That spirit has given into your hand. It's actually there to assist in our own healing. So as we serve the nature kingdom, as we serve, I'm hearing each other and love one another and help each other grow. That nature in turn soothes us. So I'm hearing like this is 3D and, and like in a 5D sense. The love that you give also grows and will come back multiplied to you in many ways. As well as the seeds that you sow in 3D and 5D. So if you're giving to the earth and you're taking up gardening, right? So I'm hearing that we need to be taking up gardening, doing something like that to give the earth um its moisture back, its essence back, right? And as we cultivate that, it will soothe us and it brings abundance to us because the heart chakra is connected to money. It was 2111 on my clock when I looked up. So money, heart chakra, sowing seeds, abundance, love, healing, nature, soothing our soul, the seeds we plant will be returned to us in the natural and in the physical as above, so below, as within, so without. That's mad beautiful, man. So beautiful. What else is promised to us? This is beautiful. It's beautiful restoration for the whole planetary system, the cosmos. Wow, I'm hearing that, I'm hearing that literally that the, the Galactic Council thanks you for putting in the work. I'm hearing this is your medal. This, this right here, this is like a medal to show. Look at that, the abundance of heart. Wow. Oh. Love, bring love into the situation. Like I said, as we sow seeds of love, it will be returned to us. So um, that's what I'm, okay, spirit. Spirit saying you remained the same, meaning not that you haven't changed for the better. Your heart is not tainted. Your heart is is still light. You still welcome love even after the flood. Yes, there was a flood. Yes, you got hurt. Yes, you have pain. Yes, you have dealt with that. Yes, it still happens sometimes to you because listen, when we're willing to continue to be vulnerable and keep our hearts open, it is a superpower because we bring love into the situation. And it's like, that's what we're going to reap in return. That's what we're going to reap. That's part of the promise. Expect powerful change. So where there's been situations in your life where you've lacked, that you've had to deal with lack. I'm hearing lack of love, lack of connections. You know, maybe staying inside too much too, I heard. And, and now being able to go out in nature because it will expand your third eye as well and, and it does heal you. Okay, so expect a powerful change in this in your life and in the situation of love as well too because I'm hearing that the flood is no more. The storm is over now. Things have are calmer. You're on, you're on, I'm seeing six of swords in my mind's eye, moving on to calmer waters. You have learned to listen to the Holy Spirit. You've learned to listen to your gut intuition, the still small voice, because you've gone through a lot of shit, a lot of floods, a lot of rain, torrential rain, downpour, okay? 
And it's like now there's a powerful change because you see things different. You see things differently. And you've never stopped sowing love. So it will, I'm hearing it will not return void. Meaning it will accomplish its purpose. You sowed seeds, that's coming back. I'm hearing Archangel Raphael. So Jehovah Rapha, God our healer, healing coming, restoration, healing to your body. Write in the comments, I am healed. I am whole. Yes. Man, that's so beautiful. I, that health is mine. I am healthy. I am free. Man, I just heard I am the planetary king. I am the planetary queen or princess. Wow, I'm hearing literally you direct the flow of the cosmos with your touch, with your love, with your words. Spirit wants us to garden. Spirit wants us to garden and, wow, and tend and mend ourselves and mend and tend and help people and garden in real life too, to help the earth. So it says a personal issue reaches resolution. So that tells me, look, and look at the bigger picture. So, so Spirit's saying after all you've been through and after all this time, I just heard, and after all this time, you're still able to look at the bigger picture and you still have faith and, and, and Spirit is bringing this resolution to the flood and expect this powerful change. Hit the like button, you guys. I'm gonna get some more cards out. I hope this is resonating with you guys. It's over now. It's over now. can make it the storm is over now you guys i know i'm not like the best singer but it's the message listen to the words because i channel through music no more cloudy days they've all gone they've all gone away i feel like i can make it the storm is over now Wow, you guys have been through so much. And Spirit is just letting you guys know that storm. It's There's a breakthrough on the horizon. I'm hearing, I'm hearing. Yes, you have this psychic insight. You have this inner knowing, this inner strength, man. You cannot be defeated. Man, I just heard you will not be defeated. And you won't stop. And you won't stop. No, and you have increased awareness. Spirit is letting you see. I'm hearing. You saw. Now you see. Gosh. It's over now. It's over now. Yes. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. This inner strength, this increased awareness. You've received this. You've received this. These are badges of honor. This is badges of honor that you've received from spirit. After a lot of things, a lot of lessons that you've gone through, I'm hearing even in past lives. And now you have this third eye awareness, this increased awareness, so that you can actually um, listen and trust your inner voice. And you have this deep connection connection within yourself. Your third eye is open. You can see the truth. You trust your intuition. You're whole and healed. Man, I channeled wholeness earlier and told you guys, I am whole. Move back to wholeness. Recognize you have the power. That's what you've realized. Man, it's so beautiful. Yes, spirit wants you to trust. 
Trust your intuition. Trust your third eye. Trust what God is saying to you. I'm hearing that you guys, um, you might be doing meditations and, and mudras with your hands. Hand mudras or mantras as well. See, you've learned, you got, you guys learned and I, you know, us as a collective, we learned a big lesson. We've learned to listen to our intuition as we, as we walk into the promise that God has for our lives, as we walk into our North node, right? We have to learn. We had to learn to do what we know is right without allowing fear to control us, right? We've had to learn this inner strength, carry this inner fire. Look, that's the last card I'm gonna take from here. It says awakening presence. So that's what you've received. That's what's been restored. Is this awakening presence, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So as um, these blessings are unfolding in your life, it's like you're protected and you're loved. And I think that's like the most beautiful message. And it's actually very, very simple. And the simplicity of things are actually where the beauty lies. And it's like spirit is saying that we've gone through a lot of things. But we have never been forsaken. Now is our time for restoration. Can we feel the awakening presence? Will we walk into our promise? What has been an oath to us? Have we learned the lesson to listen to our intuition? And we have. Spirit is telling me our intuition has been restored. So I'm getting like this weird message right now. And the message is this. It's like. In a past life, you had very, very strong intuition. And um, you may have died because of it. Because you're like woke, woke. You're woke, woke, right? And when you're woke, woke, a lot of people, you know, especially governments and things like that, they don't like it, you know? So you may have been martyred in the past because of your belief system. Because you have these abilities, this increased awareness, this third eye opening, this psychic insight, this awakening presence. And when you do that, I'm hearing when you have this gift, this it's a, it's really the promise of who you are. You can move crowds of people, I'm hearing. And so it's like this increased awareness and this awakening presence and this psychic insight causes a, other people to become awakened. So it's like as your third eye grows, other people's third eye pop open, you know? So... God, what else about this, this promise after the flood? You know, you guys have been doing a lot of healing. So this is you trusting and knowing that you don't even look. You could put your sword down and take a nap. You're called and chosen. You stand out. You are the star that gives insight to others. You awaken those around you. Yes, people celebrate you because as you awaken more and more, it awakens those around you. Tell me more about this promise, Spirit. Wow.
Yeah, spirit wants to be able to set you free so that you understand your abundance. Spirit wants to give you love. This is that love coming in. Yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, but I'm hearing that song been around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, your looks are being restored. You're more and more attractive as you your inspiration is being restored. Wow. Hallelujah. Spirit is saying your inspiration is being restored. Your um, motivation is being restored. Your inner wanting is being restored. Your inner desire is being ignited. You're becoming more and more attractive. But it's like you had to go through the purge. You had to go within. You had to find. You had to find your light. And as soon as you did and you became awakened. It's like now you just sit back and rest and know that you are abundant. And spirit is going to bring you in balance within yourself look and within love this is balance for love as a soulmate and it's a balance um of yourself the masculine and feminine energy so maybe before you went you know before you um went through your awakening process you actually um were pretty unbalanced see dna upgrade your DNA is being restored. Look at this. Enemies have tried to make you weak. They try to drown you. I'm hearing they try to drown out your voice. They try to drown you out, period. They try to drown out your lineage. They try, man, they're trying to drown out your DNA. And spirits like, no, no. You're getting DNA upgrades. Your DNA is being restored. I'm hearing your DNA is magical. Like rainbows. Like your DNA is like a beautiful rainbow. Your DNA is a beautiful. <sighs> Listen. Your enemies, it might look, you're woke, woke, like I said. You may have been the black sheep in your family, and they, your own family, may have been the ones trying to drown you, okay? But spirit don't want you to focus on that. Spirit wants you to understand that you have a purpose here, okay? And you don't have to focus on these enemies. Because you're wake, you're waking up more and more, and your DNA is being upgraded. And look, you're a generational curse breaker. Okay, that is your promise. You are to restore your family lineage as you're restoring your DNA. Remain calm. Like I said, you're at a period in your life where you know that you can rest and remain calm because. You understand the oath and the promise of this restoration for your life. So do I want to ask about love at all? All right. Yeah, I will. How about that? All right. Look, judgment day for your enemies. That's part of the promise is for them to see you restored. Okay. Your enemies that try to kill you, try to drown you, try to flood you. It is time for them to receive judgment and for you to sit back and remain calm and receive the wake up call, receive the DNA upgrades, receive the promise of restoration in your money, in your love life and in your heart. Yeah, you don't got to worry about nothing. Okay, so let's ask about this love really quick and then we'll go ahead and go because this video is long. I hope you guys have resonated and enjoy this. Like I said, if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up. This is just a general reading. So I'm asking about love, this love that's being brought to the situation. What is this love that's being brought to the rest? To, ooh, I was going to say to the restoration. 
What is about this relationship or this this love? This restored love. Tell me about this restored love, Holy Spirit. See, I told you, you're going to be getting more and more beautiful and more and more attractive. As you become, what does this say? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's like as you embrace yourself, as you stop and smell the roses, as you, you know, understand your own beauty. This is so beautiful because what's being restored, I'm hearing is your looks. I'm hearing that you're going to you're going to look different. I'm hearing you're even going to smell different. You're going to look different, smell different, think different. Um cuz as your DNA is being upgraded, spirit just said to me, as your DNA upgrades, so doesn't like your your physical so you can you can actually speak your body and speak your life um, to the attraction level that you desire. I'm actually doing that right now. So it's like our attractiveness is being restored. What else is being restored when it comes to this? When it comes to love, wedding. There's a wedding out here, so. Spirit is um, wanting to wanting to restore your love life as well with a commitment. Spirit, spirit wants to restore your sense of of self worth so that you know that you don't have to be codependent on any relationship. That you can understand your own worth and your own attraction here. Yes, the promise is is that you are the beautiful star. I'm hearing you hold the water, you hold the rose, you hold the attraction. Your looks are being restored. You might be, I'm hearing you might, Um, it's like you have a beautiful motherly like or earthy feel to you. So there's attraction and wedding here. Yep. So you've actually um, have gone through, you know, this is collectively, we, we, somebody may have gone through like an unrequited love situation and that pretty much almost killed you before, you know, just feeling the feelings of like rejection, the feelings of abandonment and all that, like never really having a, a good committed relationship, you know, but spirit is saying that, um, there is a higher level of commitment here and your attraction love. Like I can't explain it. You're, you're going to get more and more beautiful. You're literally going to get more and more beautiful as you heal, as you heal more and more. It's like your hair is going to get more full. Your body's going to get more in shape and more toned. I'm hearing your voice. You're, you're getting upgraded DNA at a DNA level. So things about you are going to get like better and, and be able to, you'll be able to see a difference. So um, there's also, I'm asking about love, but here it says worth the wait. Divine timing is work in your love life. So you've been patient, right? You've been patient when it when it comes to like, I okay, here's what it is. You've gone through so much in different relationships or maybe in, in one particular relationship and it almost like took you out. So it's like you knew that you want this commitment, but it's worth waiting for, you know, and you're willing to put in the work for yourself and to heal and to go after, you know, your north node. And it's it, you're very attractive. And that's what's going to um, have this commitment come in. And it's like you have also abundance coming in with, um, with finances. So we have money out here, you know. And this is a love deck. So it's like it says, um, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life but here's the thing not anymore not anymore 
there may have been a period of time because the main message is there's a promise of restoration after the flood. So if you've had problems in your finances and in your career, okay? If you've had problems in your finances and in your career, Spirit is saying no more, okay? No more, all right? So um, as you have faith, right? And as you go towards your inspirations and go towards your north node, and understand that divine timing is at play here, right? <laughs> that divine timing is at play here. Sorry, guys, that was my animals that came up. Um, but you've understood that it's worth waiting for when it comes. So spirit is actually saying that you have waited a long time fucking time is what I'm hearing a long time for your finances to upgrade for your career to upgrade and it's not like you have been waiting and doing nothing you have been actively waiting and spirit sees you and spirit says I hold up my side of the bargain okay you don't have to worry is spirit gonna hold up their their side of the bargain you know source is gonna hold up and give give oh, i don't know why i'm stuttering here it's like i'm so excited source is is gonna hold up his side of the bargain source is gonna hold up his side of the bargain they've seen you be faithful they're giving dna upgrades to you now right and the upgrades D in your dna is causing an effect in this realm of reality and you've been patient and waited on divine timing. And what is coming through is your career is going to start taking off. Your finances are going to start taking off. Your body is going to become more and more attractive and going to be taking off. And you're look at this. You're attracting in a soulmate that is going to be committed to you. This is the promise of restoration after the flood. This is the new love that's coming in. Yes, release your ex. Look at that. Hallelujah. I'm out of here. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Peace. Let me ring the bell. Have a beautiful, beautiful one. Hit me up on my email if you want a personal reading. And hit the like button, subscribe. Bye, you guys.